Hello everyone, um, I'm going to show you today how to convert uh, just regular website to a native Android application. So I have a website, for example, uh, this uh, Empress Global News Center website it has address www Empress Online. So I want this website to be uh, a part of Android uh, native application. So for this purpose, we created uh, just regular Android Studio Hello World application with the name Empress Online. And initially, the application has activity main XML uh, that has nothing, just Hello World. So we just need uh, to start working with this application. Of course, we have to delete Hello World. And we will start working with a pure Android application. So since uh, this application uh, going to be uh, internet application, it's kind of like application that uh, loading web page online, we have to start with setting special permission in Android Manifest XML. So please uh, switch to Android Manifest XML and uh, add one uh, one of the following lines. So you need to use uses permission, uses permission tag and android name permission we need to specify it should be permission to uh, access to the internet so probably it will be alphabetically somewhere here yeah that's correct and uh, we have to close this tag with uh, uses permission uh, close brackets so it's very easy to set up activity main XML because we need only one uh, widget. We need to find a container and the name of the container will be WebView. So the WebView is a container to display a web page in the activity. So I just drag and drop this web page and you see that by default uh, layout with match parent, layout height match parent. So this provos both properties very important because we want uh, the website to take uh, parent width and height. And uh, if you switch to the text presentations, you see that uh, uh, we receive web view elements inside our relative layout and uh, width and height uh, matching parent in both cases. Just do some programming part. So first of all, we need to uh, create a web view object in our web project. So it will be web view element. And we see automatically uh, Android Studio added the library. So web view element will be just, for example, my web. And this variable actually will be using uh, below in setting, in setting our web page. So I will create here the method that I want to uh, to to use in this case. It will be a private void set page method. And this set page method actually will be uh, responsible for uh, setting web view in my program. So what we need to do first? First of all, we have to identify resource by ID. And maybe the most popular method that we used in our tutorials was find you by ID. So what will be the ID for the elements we want to identify? You see, in this case, we do not have a resource uh, that identify our web view. So in this case, it's, it's very easy to fix it. So go back to activity main XML. And uh, yeah, probably we'll make it even better. Switch to the design, uh, press on the web view, and on the right corner of the properties, right here, just ID. My view ID, for example. All right, this is what we need to do always. Uh, and uh, don't forget to initialize uh, my web with this resource. and. Uh, this uh, red bulb will give us, give us uh, help to cast to Android WebKit web view type. All right, so we identify resource. Uh, the next we need to make some settings for the our web page web settings. And uh, for our web page, 
we will uh, get settings uh, calling this method. So after this, we using my settings variable, we will be able to enable uh, JavaScript for the page. So we will call set set JavaScript enabled, and we passing true as uh, as one argument for this for this method. And finally, uh, very the very last moment to set the page, we have to load URL. So in this case, we will be using uh, my web dot load URL. We will be using one argument that specify in double quotation. So let's go and copy a URL for our web page. So there will be uh, Empress Online website. So we will be copy. Uh, go back to URL and you see like uh, HTTP protocol should be specified in this case. Alright, and the last things we have to call this method after uh, setting content view set page. Okay, so let's uh, try to run application and see uh, how the page will be appeared in our uh, application. So I will run it in this application Galaxy Nexus emulator. Alright, so you have it installed in APK right now, so uh, the page will be uh, available in a moment. Alright, so it's coming online. You see, like, looks like this uh, Impress Online is pretty heavy website. It's, <laughs> it's coming very slow. But it's coming, and you see they have pretty much a very similar, uh, very similar picture that we have in uh, desktop variation. So this uh, this website actually will be connected to my uh, Empress Online application on the device. So I'm just uh, try to call it again and see. Uh, in this case, you see it will be much more responsive right now. So let's try to uh, to press some link here, or probably use a search in this page. So let's uh, try to find news uh, that related to Mr. Trump. I'm sure we have this news right now, right? And uh, you see what's happened right now. So you're just asking open with Chrome or WebView browser tester. So that's, um, I don't really want to do this. I want links to be open in the same application. So uh, this is what should be fixed, I guess, right? Because we don't really want uh, application run uh, uh, outside the application, right? So. So we go back to set page and we will be adding one more line here that uh, will be setting the view client in the same application. So we have to uh, call uh, my web object variable and, and the choose uh, set web view client in uh, using the same client window. So the new client window will be web view client. So let's run again and check how it works. Let's try to do the search again. So in this case, you see that uh, that application uh, run a new page inside the same container. So that's that's a good news. So that's what we need, right? So that's the more, most important. So right now, let's press back button right now. You don't see the back button right now, but uh, I will press back button on the right side of my device. And unfortunately, the application is closed. So I, I would be really happy to have um, my back button go to the previous page, but it's not happened, right? So unfortunately, that's need to be fixed as well. So uh, let's go back to the Java side again. 
So for this purpose, we have to implement one method when on back button pressed. So on back uh, pressed is the uh, public void on back pressed method. And uh, I just inserted this uh, version to overwrite. So what I need to do, I need to check if uh, my page has something in the previous uh, previous page. So I, I will make condition if um, my web dot and we have a method uh, that return return boolean can go back if that method return true. So my page is able to go back. Go back. Otherwise, uh, we will stick with default super on back press, which just will be simply provide you uh, a standard standard application behavior and run again. Let's try again to do some search in our website. So right now we see the page is coming uh, according to the search and right now let's try to press uh, back button here you know, in the right uh, uh, corner in the low area. I just cannot see this button in this device screen capture but uh, I will press it and show result. So yeah, when we press the button you see we come into the previous page. So this is what we actually expected from this application. Let's run our application last time on Android emulator Galaxy Nexus uh, and see um, how it, uh, it responds on the device emulator. Okay, so uh, website right now is loaded inside the Empress Online native application, so we can try to uh, browse application. This is actually the big web page, I would say long web page with the content and you see it looks like it's pretty cool. You see all news uh, right now in one application. So let's try to press on all of this, one of these uh, links and see what's happened. So I open uh, investing.com website for example, uh, that was a part of the, on the link and I can open uh, another link inside and you see that all links open inside one application and press online. Let's try right now that back button to see if it works. So if you press back button one time, so you're rejected to the previous investing.com uh, window. If you press one more, you will redirect it to the first page, basically where we left. So yeah, Empress Online application right now is responsive in um, Android application um, container. So it's pretty much what we uh, wanted to achieve in this application. And even right now we're trying to play uh, audio and it also works. Okay, it was a video how to convert a website uh, into Android native application using Android Studio. Thank you so much and have a good day. Bye-bye.